Hey what's up, I am Sam, today I'll show you some techniques that can make your videos look more professional and appealing. Now these techniques can be used for any project that you're working on. No matter if it's a music video or a short film, these techniques will always enhance the look and quality of your video. Let me set an example for you. This is after using the techniques. And this is before. Alright, I hope you all understand and notice the difference and are eager to learn how to make your videos look more professional. So, let's get started. <laughs> Alright, so here I am in After Effects and I'm gonna take my footage and uh, make a new composition out of it. And then, I have my video over here. Alright, so let's start the work. Alright, so the first thing you're gonna add are some black stripes on the bottom and top of the video to give it an anamorphic white screen look. So, what we're gonna do is make a new solid, a black solid, and make it come size. And we're gonna make another solid, new solid, and we're gonna set its height to maybe like 560. And then what we're gonna do is set the track mat of the layer to alpha inverted mat. And then we can align the layer according to a need. In this case, shift it a little bit down. So the next step is color correction. Personally, I like to use specific kind of effects in each of my videos. So I have made myself a preset, but today I'm gonna show you how we can do that from scratch. So we're gonna make a new adjustment layer. And we're gonna make sure that the adjustment layer is below our crop. And then what we're gonna do is go to effect, color correction, and hue and saturation. So the first step is we're gonna desaturate it a little bit, like that. And then we're gonna increase the master lightness so that it increases the lightness of the overall video. Alright, so the next effect we're gonna add will be color correction curves, the favorite one. And now we're gonna start color correcting our footage. Now my favorite color is blue, so I like to add a blue tint to my footage. And you can see that my room has a lot of blue. So let's make it blue. <laughs> Just kidding. Alright, so we'll go to the red channel. And we're gonna make a contrast curve like this. And then we're gonna go to green channel and make another contrast curve like that. And you can already see that we have a little bit of blue in there. And then we go to the blue channel and decrease it from this side and increase it from the bottom. So you get that look. Alright, so the next step will be to increase some contrast. So we're gonna go color correction, brightness and contrast, and maybe set it to 40. Bam, that's great. And maybe then we can add an overall tint to this whole color correction layer. Maybe just a little bit, like 14 or 15. And there we have it. Now there's one more thing that I like to do is to sharpen them it so we can go to effect blur and sharpen and sharpen and maybe set it to 10 cool all right so the next step is to give our video a vignette so we can go to layer new adjustment layer and select the ellipse tool double click on it and again make sure that this layer is below our crop and we go to effect color correction curves and we're gonna make sure that we are on the RGB channel and we will decrease this to make it more dark and then we can select the layer and hit M set the mask type to subtract and hit F and feather it like that so we have a great vignette alright so let me show you the difference let me take a snapshot alright and then we have our raw footage <laughs> Alright, that's it. I hope you all like this video. Subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. Bam.